On Christmas Day in 2022, Ivan Adams beat Athena Brownfield, four years old, to death and buried her body near Rush Springs in Oklahoma. What's up, dude? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? So, this story that we're going to talk about today, I found on TikTok. And to the very best of my abilities, I have put it into a somewhat chronological order. I hope that it all makes sense. I originally saw it on TikTok and it was a really good TikTok, but I found more information about it. I hope that, like I said, it all makes sense and it's in chrono chronological order as best as I could kind of get it pieced together. There's a, I mean, like there's a good amount of information, but it's just kind of hard to get it all straight and in, into a nice little document, if that makes any sort of sense. But that being said, let's just jump right into it. On the afternoon of January 10th, four-year-old Athena Brownfield was reported missing after a mail carrier found her five-year-old sister outside on the road that goes past their home on West Nebraska Ave Avenue in Cyril, Oklahoma. After almost a week of searching, the Oklahoma State Bu Bureau of Investigation switched their search efforts into a recovery mission. Then, on January 17th, Athena's remains were found in rural Grady County near Rush Springs. At first, the remains weren't confirmed to be Athena's, but they were taken to the medical examiner's office in Oklahoma City for a possible identification. Athena's caregivers were arrested in, her, in connection to her disappearance. According to authorities, Ivan Adams was arrested in Arizona on January 12th for outstanding charges out of Oklahoma. He was booked into the Mar Maricopa County Jail in Arizona. Sometimes when I look at the names of places spelled out, I can't pronounce them, but then when I look away, I'm able to. I don't know why that is. Ivan was arrested on counts of first-degree murder and child neglect. On the 19th, he was released to a different agency in Oklahoma, so he was transported from Arizona back to Oklahoma, where the charges originally came from. On January 12th, the same day that Ivan was arrested, Alyssa Adams, 32 years old, was also arrested. It, I, I never read where she was found or where she was at, so that's... I don't know if they were together. I'm thinking that they split up, but I'm not a million percent sure. She was formally charged on January 17th for two counts of child neglect and one for failing to supervise Athena's sister and another for failing to protect Athena from her husband. When asked if the Department of Human Services was involved in the case in any way, authorities just said no comment. Court documents say that Alyssa Adams confessed to investigators on January 12th that her husband, Ivan, beat Athena to death around midnight on December 25th while at their home. Athena wasn't moving and the documents say that her eyes were barely open. Ivan allegedly laid Athena on the ground and punched her at least three more times in the chest according to dark court documents. After that, Athena never moved. The next day, December 26th, Ivan left the house with Athena around 1 a.m. When he came back to the house, he told Alyssa that he had buried her near a fence line that was next to their old home in Rush Springs and that he put a large broken branch over the burial site. So what started the investigation into Athena's disappearance was the mail carrier that found Athena's five-year-old sister, which I'm not going to mention her name because one, you can't find it, and two, she is still alive and she is a minor. Um, so the mail carrier found Athena's five-year-old sister walking down the road by herself and then he called the cops. According to court documents, the five-year-old told investigators that she was home alone and was tired of being alone. So from what I can understand, it kind of sounds like maybe Alyssa had been gone with Ivan burying um, Athena's body and then they had left the five-year-old home or they had just both left at some point and she was home alone. I'm. It's not real clear. The TikTok says one thing and then that I originally heard this case from, they say one thing and then new sources say another. It's like I said, it's just kind of hard to get everything into order and know exactly what happened. Like it's a little bit hazy. So why were the girls in the care of Alyssa and Ivan? Court documents say that Athena and her sister's mom left the two girls in the care of Alyssa and Ivan about a year and a half to two years ago. The girls are related to Alyssa somehow. I do not know how. I tried to find it, but I couldn't figure it out. It sounds though like um, that side of the family like the girls is bio mom and Alyssa. It sounds like there was kind of a rough home life 
years ago at some point, but Alyssa had kind of pulled herself together and had made a decent life for herself and seemed pretty stable. But like I said, don't know why the girls were in um, Alyssa's care to be exact. According to officials, Athena's Athena's bio parents have been interviewed and they are cooperating with the investigation. I hope that we find out why they're not with their bio parents. I'm sorry, I wish I had things in chronological order a little bit better and I wish I had some more answers for you, but a lot of the news sources that I read from are now talking about what the girls' family members are saying, but I'm trying to just kind of stick to the facts of the case and what exactly happened, but it's just... I don't know why this one is so tricky to sort of get it all figured out, maybe because it is a higher profile case, but it's not one that is making headlines every day about new development developments or anything like that. So this is the information that I have for you guys right now. I hope that you found this video interesting and consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. But if not, I totally understand. But for those of you that will be back to my channel tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., I will have another true crime career video all queued up and ready for you guys. So I will see you then. Bye.